Hey guys, I'm Michael from eKids. Hey yo! Boy, we've got a lot to cover in a small amount of time. I know that. We've been talking about the book of Acts, and the reason for the book of Acts, or the reason why we're studying it, is that we want to know, well, what did the apostles do with the fruits of the Spirit that we studied? Yep. The challenge is for this week, we're seeing now that the apostles start doing things that are really, really crazy. Really crazy awesome, but really crazy. Whoa! With that, you, we need to learn some of the gifts of the Spirit. And what I mean is that they're able to do these awesome things because the Holy Spirit gives them the ability to do that. And the Holy Spirit may give you the ability to do things too. Or He may give me the ability to do things. That's a good point. These gifts of the Spirit really changes who you are and it can change what you can do. Now, I find these things in Romans chapter 12 and 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and then in Ephesians chapter 4 and I've taken a list of these things and kind of combined them to show you um, 12 gifts of the Spirit. Now, so let's talk about who you can be, who you are. God may give you these gifts. Maybe he might make you an apostle. An apostle is someone um, who has wisdom and, and, and can help guide people, can kind of help with some leadership. And then you have a prophet. Prophets are very interesting. Um, preachers are often prophets, that God speaks to them and they can relay the message that God speaks. So that's a, a prophet. Then you have an evangelist. An evangelist is really someone that's really good at telling people about Jesus. You might be an evangelist. Then there is a shepherd. A shepherd is like a pastor, someone who cares for people, who can lead people and help them do the right things. And then of course we have a teacher. I think I, that's part of my gifting, is I think I am a teacher. Those are, those are some gifts of things that, that we can be, that God can, can turn you into. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, shepherd, or teacher. I get it, I get it. Here are some gifts that show what we can do. One, you can serve. Yes, serving and helping others is a gift of the Spirit. Being able to work and help people, that's a gifting. Um, and another gifting is, well, as God gives you, you can give others. Sometimes God actually gives you money and, you, and you're able to, to provide and give to others. And sometimes giving is not just giving money. Sometimes it's giving of your time, giving your prayers. It's being selfless instead of being selfish. I know that. Then you have this, this thing that you can do of, of being merciful, being the type of person that is forgiving being the type of person that is kind to others. This kind of leans into the fruits of the Spirit, doesn't it? Then you have this crazy awesome gifting of healing. No, why? That we've seen a few weeks ago where Peter healed a beggar. That there's a gifting that you can heal people. That sounds amazing. Yep. And another one that's just like it is that you can do miracles. We are going to see some interesting miracles today in our lesson. Sounds good. And then there's another one, speaking in tongues. There are different types of tongues you can speak in a different language. And then there's another thing that sometimes when you pray all by yourself, maybe God might cause you to speak a little differently in your prayer. And that's something we can talk to your mom and dad about, but that's called tongues. Uh... And then there's interpretation, where if someone is speaking in tongues and they're around others, Sometimes God may give you the gift to interpret what people had said. Wait, is that? I think so. Whoa. Okay, so what are those things that we can do? Some of those possible gifts of the Spirit you might have? Well, service, giving, being merciful, healing, doing miracles, speaking in tongues, and interpreting. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. These are some of the gifts of the Spirit. Got it. Now, God will probably, through the Holy Spirit, give you some of these gifts, or at least one of these gifts. Um, yeah, but... That doesn't mean he's going to give you all of these gifts. So that's the thing, is seeing what God has gifted you. Now, having said all of that, everybody take a deep breath. Thank you. 
We're, we're going to see a story about a man that talks to another guy and he leads him to Jesus and they get baptized. Spoiler alert, my bad. And then we're going to see a crazy story about a woman named Tabitha. Now in the cartoon, you're not going to see the full story. I have to explain some of it after the second video, but let's get on it. Let's figure it out. Let's watch these videos. Are you guys ready? All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Stories of the Bible, Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip, Hello. who was one of Jesus's disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those parts here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, 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 hold on. And the Ethiopian said, look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. Hey guys, did you see that? Like, dude just disappeared. Wow. 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 That is insane. So, wow. 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 Like, where did he go? How did he transport? This is crazy. But yeah, so we're seeing some really interesting, powerful things that the Holy Spirit can do. Guys, I think the Holy Spirit can do just about anything. It's really awesome. Yep. Something to think about is what fruits of the Spirit did the characters show in the story? And, and what gifts do you think that they had? I think I saw one was evangelism, right? I saw a guy tell someone about Jesus on a road to go somewhere else and he baptized him in a lake. That's, that's amazing, right? Yep, that makes sense. He really definitely had that gift of evangelism. And with that oh, the Ethiopian guy. I saw that he showed the fruit of the spirit of joy. He got baptized and, and he was excited, jumping around for joy and happy. Woohoo! With all these stories in the book of Acts, let's start seeing the fruits of the spirit that we see in the story. And then we might even be able to see some of these gifts of the spirit. All right, now this next story is crazy. Now you're only going to see part of the story here. I'll have to tell you the rest of it at the end of this video. What's going on? But this is a really short one, so check this one out too. Slapstick Theater, Tabitha. This is Tabitha. Oh, hi. Tabitha lived in Israel in a town called Joppa. Tabitha believed in Jesus. She was always doing kind things for people. Here you go. And helping the poor. This is for you. She would make clothes for people. For you. Thank you. And was loved by many in her town. God did a miracle in her life, and many people believed God because of what happened in her life. All right, guys. <laughs> now, the question I bet some of you are asking is, well, what was the miracle that was done in Tabitha's life? Wait, what? Yeah, when I saw this video, I'm like, well, this is great. There's a miracle done in her life, but uh, what was it? Everybody liked Tabitha, and then Peter does something with Tabitha, but what, what happens? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Tabitha, <coughs> she died. Wow. 
but then Peter raises her from the dead in the power of Jesus. What? Yeah, she is, she is dead and then she lives again. Is that just the most crazy thing ever? I mean, sure, we see a guy disappearing and stuff, and that's crazy, and now we have people rising from the dead. So guys, what I want you to see in these stories is again, fruits of the Spirit. We see that all these fruits and, and, and that are showing in these people's lives, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. We see all these things in all these stories. I get it, I get it. And I want you to keep seeing them. And now we're starting to see gifts of the Spirit. We're seeing people who are, are apostles, prophets, evangelists, shepherds, teachers. We see people that can serve, give, that can be merciful, they can heal and raise people from the dead. Woohoo! Do these miracles and speak in tongues and interpret tongues. Guys, we're seeing all kinds of crazy awesome things in the book of Acts. And I want you to start seeing this as we continue. And I also want you to think about the Holy Spirit that's in you. Uh, uh -oh. And what can the Holy Spirit do through you? Do you believe that God is as powerful today as he was in these stories? Has God changed? Is God weak all of a sudden? So do you think God can do some of these things today? Yep. And that's what I want you to think about as you go throughout the week. As you continue to read the book of Acts on your own, start seeing that God can do these things through you. You can be merciful. You, you, can, you can serve. You can give. Maybe God might give you the, the gift to heal people. Maybe God might turn you into an evangelist or a teacher or a prophet. I don't know. The future is wide open. So begin praying about about who you are and what God is calling you to be. What gifts has God given you? And how can you show the fruits of the Spirit with these gifts that God gives you? Guys, I, as you, if you can't tell, I'm excited. I want to see what God will do through you. I love you, and I hope you have a, gr a great week, and I'll see you next time. Now, bye. See ya!